Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Dead Cells. We are jumping in once again and between episodes I, for one, found another blueprint drop mod. I know that this one says faster blueprints but I got another one just in case because this one technically hasn't been updated and this one has. So this one might work. I, I don't know. Anyways, because of this, I went and did some um, off-screen uh, farming. Oopsie, I need to do this. I went and did some off-screen farming and just got a bunch of cells and got a few blueprints. Some of the blueprints I've already purchased just because I had the cells to do so. But quite a lot of the other ones I've left. Like, I got rid of all the costumes. I, I paid for all the costumes because they were just, like, in the way. Um... And then, um, yeah, I got I got a bunch of other ones as well. Uh, I used the I used the thing a few times. The uh, I can't remember what it's called now. It's like a grenade that you can throw, like hunter's grenade. I think it's called. You can throw to extract blueprints from certain enemies. It's pretty useful. So I use that every now and again when I found it. Um, but yeah, I've, I've managed to unlock this is the thing here. Perfect timing. If you can uh, buy that, you can uh, unlock that and throw it at certain enemies to get specific blueprints. It's pretty nice, but with the blueprints mod, it's not as uh, necessary. But here, I'm not really sure what to go for. Should we try... I don't know. Because we get the least amount of health on Brutality. But Brutality is quite fun. Let's try Brutality, shall we? We can always switch later on if it ends up not really working out. Uh, but yes, I've already un unlocked a few... Um, a few blueprints here and there, but you'll see once we get to the first shop, there is a lot and a lot and a lot of blueprints I have yet to uh, have yet to unlock. I don't know how good this um, this bow is, by the way. What's its uh, crit condition? It doesn't have a crit condition. Enemies uh, hit by this will thaw more slowly, slow down after thaw two times longer. Okay, that's actually a pretty good combo of stuff going on here. So we can actually do some good stuff in terms of freezing our enemies here. Just do that. There you go. Okay. Nice. Right. Uh, where do we want to be going here? Okay, we can go down this way now. I see, I see. Get ourselves a chest. Ooh, wave of denial. I don't know if I unlocked this one on, on screen or not, but yeah. I also, as you can see, got the um, the ability for things to be plus plus when we buy them. Uh, when, we, when we find them, which is really nice. Should help with um, fighting through this, this boss cell, because this boss cell is going to significantly increase our difficulty. Now, I don't actually know. Is wave of denial just the one where repels enemies if the enemy hits a wall? Okay, so basically it's one of the ones where we really want to be uh, trying to get them to hit a wall. Okay. Out. I might want to quickly just uh, change the sound a little bit. Just to lower the sound effect volume down to like 20%, ambient down to like 20, and music down to like 7.5. There you go. Just to be, be a bit more balanced for you guys. I tried to keep the audio a decent level quieter than my voice, but not so quiet as to not hear the game. I just don't want it to be overwhelming. Um, hmm... I could get the um, the two minute door here, so I'm, I'm kind of tempted to try and get that, but I would like to uh, get a few more kills here and there first. We found another teleport here anyways, that's what I'm looking for. Really at the end of the day, that's what we wanted. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go, shall we? Oh, sadly there's no teleport to that blueprint extractor, I kind of would have wanted to get that, but oh well, let's uh... Let's just bounce and see what we can get. But yeah, I've in, in my time farming these cells and stuff, I've gotten a little bit better at boss cell one. I'm a little bit more knowledgeable about what enemies I really need to be careful around. Um, and I've not really taken any of the alternate paths or anything. Um, ooh, we got the Impaler. Very nice. Okay, that's a lot and a lot of damage there, so we'll definitely take that. The Impaler here could be incredible. And as you'll see, we now have a bunch of these, a one grenade, two powers, a bunch of melee weapons, a bunch of bows, and some shields, and a few mutations. At the minute, I'm trying to unlock disengagement. Uh, activates the force field if your HP blows, falls below 15%, protecting you for 5 seconds. Can only be used um, every 120 seconds. This one, I believe, I found in the... Um, in the the starting area, but anyways, let's uh, let's grab that. 
This uh, this spear seems like it's going to be real good. Uh, and then mutations. I don't think I unlocked many of these. But we'll ha we can have a little look what we want to go for here. Um, one thing I do kind of like the, the idea of is going with uh, melee here to slow enemies down. And then combining that with... Um, I forget. There's, there's one that gives us more damage on slowed down enemies. But it's, it's a pretty good combo nonetheless. I can't remember which one it is now. Oh, there you go. Frostbite. Um, okay, so we'll have a little look-see here. So maybe maybe for now we will just go with... I don't know. What should we go with here? We've got a lot of different choices. Um, attacking a frozen or stunned enemy. Don't really need that. That's good, but it only recovers up to 50% of our maximum HP, so it's not all that great. Okay, so let's, let's just take melee for now then. I think, I think melee is decent enough to take. And we'll enter the Toxic Sewers. I like to go to the Toxic Sewers most often. Um, I feel like this area is is reasonably easy and um, is, is reasonably quick as well. And it provides us with a good amount of cells. But we've actually got a really good setup here. This spear is very strong, as you can clearly see. Just remember to use our Wave of Denial if we need it. Obviously, it's not going to always be effective, but I think for this area, we're going to have a really good time here. Right, let me just check. Do I have... Oh, Wave of Denial's causing that freeze effect. I see. Nice. Okay. So that actually does a ton of damage if we get him to hit the wall. As you can see, though, we are kind of dominating this early game. Brutality is kind of like that, though. If you, if you spec into Brutality... You can really do a lot of damage very, very quickly, um, especially with some of these higher level weapons. And this is kind of why I wanted to um, to do a little bit of this off camera, just because I think even with a, even with the less grind mod, there's still a bit of grinding in this game. And with us only doing like two episodes a week, it's going to take us a long time to grind our way up to a decent level of difficulty in the game. So I thought, why not? Um, why not sort of go past a little bit of that? And, oh, that was a stupid, stupid hit there. Go past a little bit of that and get ourselves some um, some blueprints and stuff early on. Just to make our life a little easier. And also, I think it's kind of like the same with The Binding of Isaac for me. I find games, uh, roguelikes especially, much more enjoyable when you have more things unlocked. And this game has a lot of different uh, things that are exceedingly hard to unlock um, or like random to unlock. Obviously, we've got this blueprint mod now, which should help a lot. Um, but yeah, so hopefully... Ooh, that was a bad hit. Uh, so hopefully this should mean that we get to see more things on our run and they're a bit less uh, samey, so to say. Okay, we'll take green this time because that'll give us a massive, massive health boost. Right. Yeah, I'm liking this, um, the, the remains exploding thing. It's working out quite nicely for us. We're getting a few multi-kills off of it. This, oh, there's a rat here. I was like, what the hell just hit me? But yeah, you can see that this just gives us a ton of cells. And we've got this oil slam as well. It's nice that we get an amulet right at the start of our runs when we're on boss cell one. I didn't know that originally. And we have our shop here. I don't really think our money's worth spending there right now. We've not got a ton of it. I'd kind of rather keep it for uh, re-rolling our weaponry. Trying to get some good stuff. Secret area here. I think I found this one before. Hmm. Yeah, I think I found that one before. Okay, let's keep going. Don't really know where I'm going at the minute. Well, let's keep going. I still need to get my slam upgrade as well. I don't have that yet. That's something that I'm lacking on. Nice. But we're killing things mostly in a single hit here, which is real good. We'll take purple this time. Again, for that big health boost. Just to make our life a little bit easier. But yeah, if we can... If we can actually, we definitely will be able to unlock the... Um, Oh, there's a secret here. We definitely will be able to unlock that thing I've been trying to unlock. Another secret. A croissant. Thank you. Okay, that was a bit stupid of me. I think this is just a weapon, isn't it? 
Okay, Root Grenade actually is decent here. So I don't know, will that Root Grenade be leveled up? Yeah, it is plus plus, good. So yeah, getting everything on plus plus level is going to, of course, increase our power level quite a bit. But you kind of need that for the boss cells, really. Um, do you know what? I think the trap is a little better than the Wave of Denial here. Wave of Denial, see, this is what I need. I still don't have this yet. It's a little bit of a shame, really. Because there's uh, different routes I could be taking. Okay, so we found some food here that I apparently just walked straight past. Whoops. Um, there's also a little path down here that I never saw. We'll try and fully explore this area. What, what we got up here? Eh, swarm grenade. I don't think I really need that. What other paths have we not taken? Okay, this, this one over here is undiscovered so far. I just want to see what other exits there are. We found the Ramparts one. Oh, I see that secret as well. And also, we get another one of these beautiful boys. And I think there's another chest as well. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. We got the Spite Sword, um, which is interesting, but not as good. And we do have this, uh, which I think is better than our Root Grenade. I quite like this Bombardier thing. I realize we don't have upgrades towards this, so they're not going to be uber powerful. But still, I think they're going to be decent enough. Ooh, a boss cell one door here. We'll check this out. Sometimes these are loot. Sometimes these are, like, combat trials. These can kind of vary. Small enemies like this we're uh, absolutely destroying. Really, that's not hitting? Are you kidding me? Whoa, those things can jump. What the hell? Okay, so this one is just loot, but that's nice. Um, we get light speed. I've never really used light speed, I'll be honest. Um, that could be pretty good, actually. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so that one was just loot. That's nice. So the, the, I really like the idea of the boss cell doors. And then we've got this bit up here that we can't get to yet. So I think we're going to have to go ramparts this time around. I don't think there's any other way we can go. I will quickly just check this because there is another entrance here. But I think this is yet another one that we can't quite... Yeah, we don't quite have the uh, ability to enter yet. Bit of a shame. Uh, so let's just take a little another look at the map. Okay, the only other place I'm seeing is through that chest room, but I'm pretty sure that just leads to the rampart entrance we can already see. So yeah, a little bit of a shame. We do need to unlock some new um, some new rune upgrades to, to get a bit further there. Yeah, unfortunately it is. Well, so far we're just going to head through to the ramparts, I guess, um, and carry on this way. Which isn't a, isn't a big problem, to be honest. We can get into this door as well. Nice. Okay. We've got the oiled sword. I think this is one that I unlocked off camera. Um, This, which is kind of interesting. Nah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave that. Oh, we got the magnet grenade. Which... Do you know what magnet grenade? I think we'll t I think we'll take that. I think that could be an interesting setup with this light speed thing here. I don't know. M maybe not, but we'll try it out. Right. So now we can go. We can get this. Um, this engagement seems really, really good. And then we can just kind of start to get all sorts of stuff here. So we can get this. And this is why the ten times cells just is awesome. I know some of you may think, oh, this is a bit too cheaty and you're getting, like, unlocking everything way too f fast. But, like I said, in my opinion, it just it enhances my enjoyment of the game. And it means that I don't have to play it as much off camera, which I feel like that's something that it just... It's not something I really want to do. One, because I don't have the time so much. Um, but also because I like, I like everything being on camera, <laughs> for the most part. Okay, I managed to get a lot unlocked there. Good, good. Whoa, I forgot they'd all drop on the floor. I completely forgot they'd all drop on the floor. Um, okay, so we got the broadsword here, um, which is actually less DPS. We can get rid of that. The swift sword, which inflicts a critical if you have an active speed buff. That could be good, but it does quite a lot less damage. We got phaser, which teleports you behind an enemy the next attack. Oh, that's a... Uh, teleports behind you kind of interesting um the crusher which 
Slow us down, then violently crush an enemy's core and it's zone. I feel like with a magnet grenade, that could be really, really strong. So let's try that out for now. We'll check what else we got here. Barnacle. I'm okay, thank you. Heavy turret. I'm all right. Cleaver. I'm okay. Cluster grenade. All right. Smoke bomb. Okay. Assassin's dagger. Um, inflicts a crit when you stab an enemy in the back. Interesting. We got the um, Sardis Stiletto. Inflicts a crit if the target is bleeding or poisoned. Ooh, that's an interesting one, but I don't think it's really for our build. Okay, let's go with that. I know it didn't take much there, but that's fine. Um, let's take a look at you, and then let's try and go with this um, this Frostbite one here and see if that actually works out the way I think it does. We can upgrade this bad boy, I think. Better critical hit damage is nice. Um... We can upgrade this to S quality as well. 100% damage attacks covered in oil. V victims burn when they die. Arrows stuck come back. 8% damage to poison targets. Bite of crawl from the dead. Burns the... Um... Do you know what? This is a good combo. I like them too, going, going like that. Right. Okay. I don't know what the recharge time is on either of these, but I feel like this is a pretty good setup we got here. Yeah, I do really want to start going to the other, um, the other avenues, the other biomes. So I want to try and unlock that slam attack because I think that's one thing that's keeping us from some of the other biomes at the minute. And there's, I think there's like 26 biomes in this game. So there's a lot of choice. God damn, these, these, these weapons are absolutely destroying right now. It's great. Nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I jumped a little too early. That was really stupid of me. I jumped a tiny bit too early there. So let's do this. Yep, that is a combo that I like. Wow. It seems to uh, have a good bit of reach to it as well. I really like the Biters from the Dead um, synergy, whatever you want to call it. Oh, God, these guys can fly through walls. Not okay. Right. Up we go. I like the way the biters have that cute little bow. Okay, they, they, the abilities have actually recharged reasonably quickly here. I really like the idea of these, uh, of when you craft something, it's always colorless. So when you craft something, you can always use it on that given run. Look at that, that's beautiful. And then we get all the fire going on as well. These smaller enemies are going down so fast as well. Okay, so it's like a 10 second recharge on both right, something like that. Ooh, hello. I will take, um... I will take pep. Ooh, no, I'll take, I'll take green actually, because it ups that ability a little bit. Got you. Damn it, I hated that when you go to hit a... Uh, when you go to hit a shield guy and he, and he turns around at the very moment. Oh, that's you dead. Whoa, that guy's beefy. Yeah, I think it's a 10 second recharge on both. I, 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 every time I've looked, I've always just missed it. Ooh, legendary here. Oh, legendary crusher, okay. Um, we can get behind that. Okay. Um, okay, so it's actually it's 14 to 16 seconds. A bit longer than I thought. So... Hmm. I... Do I want this? Because the one that I've got has more DPS. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the one, that, the one that I've got, you know. Seems a bit rude to leave a legend... A legendary, but it surprisingly has less DPS than the one that I have in my pocket. Maybe that one's just, maybe it's just because mine's plus plus and that one wasn't, I don't think. I don't know. Oh god, why is this guy shielded? Is there a way to rem Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, first of all, I got hit a bunch there. That was not good. I didn't realize that guy had a shield on him. Okay, he's put up another shield here. 
Maybe this guy just has like a DPS cap sort of thing. Reveals invisible enemies. Extra air jump. Yeah, we'll take that. And we'll go for brutality again here. Shield BI, bugger off. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. It pulls all of them in and then slams them all against the ground and kills them. That's a super cool combo. Ooh, the balance blade could be interesting here. Um, shoots an arrow. Uh, damaging an enemy. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the impaler here is really good, but the balance blade. I suppose the range on the balance blade isn't as good. That's maybe a reason not to take it. At the same time, though, I want to make sure that I'm not just staying with the same weapon throughout my entire run from the very start, because that's just I don't know. It's just a little. A little dull. <laughs> the whole point of uh, having all these builds and stuff is so that I can... Um, so Having all these weapons so that I can change up what I take each run. So I want to make sure that I'm not just finding a weapon I like and sticking with it the whole run. But at the same time, I would like the weapon I take to be better than the one that I previously had, if you know what I mean. Either way, let's just carry on. I, 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 do, I do like a good brutality run, though. I, I feel like brutality is one of the weaker uh, colours. It's, like, not always that great. It's nice that the uh, magnet kind of tells you where enemies are by, like, zapping them from a distance. Good. We're probably about at the door now. There we go. I love the way they all just explode from the crusher and just, like, explode into a ton of cells. So satisfying. We do have a shop here. Um, hmm. We do have a lot of money. And it, oh, wait. So it doesn't cost to refresh the shop. That's kind of interesting. That I, I really like that. It doesn't cost to refresh the shop. It just costs the cost of the items themselves increase. I think that's a really, really good way of doing shop refreshes. I wonder if that carries through to future shops or not. Like, I wonder if our next shop, the prices will still be increased. Or if it goes back down to default prices and then it, it, it cycles up again when we start restocking and um, replenishing. I really like that idea. That's, that's a... Oh my god. It's a really good way of doing things. Oh my god, go away you. Right, where the hell... Is the exit here? It's got to be really close. We're not finding it right now. This area always confuses me a bit, and sometimes it's like at the very end, like this. Other times it's like really far away. Hmm. Don't know what that's for. Right down we go. Damn it! I always roll a little too early there. On to Blackbridge. This is our first boss. So there's actually some alternate routes we can go to via this uh this bit after the boss i do think our traps are gonna be really really good against this boss as well so we'll uh get that meat skewer is there anything else we really want to unlock now a hard light gun there nice um execute mobs under 50 percent health Ooh, that's kind of interesting I like the idea of that Get that pan unlocked. Get the whip. Right, okay, so the pan inflicts a crit if the enemy is facing you. Wow, that seems really good. 50% um, damage when you're at maximum HP. You kind of want to use that. The meat skewer. First attack pierces the enemy, placing you behind it. Uh, your next attack inflicts a crit. And then we've also got the Valamont Whip. Ignores shields, inflicts a crit if the tip of the whip strikes the enemy. Let's, uh... Okay, so that's kind of slow. But I kind of like the idea of it. Let's, let's give it a go, shall we? Let's try it out. Right. Upgrade. Shoots an arrow uh, upwards, shoots an arrow in front of you. Yeah, let, let, let's just try that out as is. 
And then this, um, we can now go with disengagement, can't we? Yeah, I think disengagement is probably going to be one that we uh, that we take relatively often here. Um, dis disengagement seems really, really, really good. Right, let's try this boss out. I doubt I can flawless this dude, but I'd like to be able to. I realize that skewer probably does more damage, but like... Ooh, I'm really liking this whip. You've got to kind of be precise about how you hit enemies, but I think that's kind of part of the fun. And honestly, it's kind of generous as well with uh, what counts as the... Aw, oh, you bastards. It's kind of generous with what counts as the tip of the whip as well. Yeah, this guy gets absolutely wrecked by traps. Great. Hey, we got some armor. We got um, whatever this is. Corrupted power. Got another spite sword here. Um, adds damage while with each attack. You take 30% damage during this time. That sounds kind of interesting. Um... Although, thinking about it, the DPS it adds isn't actually that good. Like, 500 is okay, but for a weapon that's dealing 2,000, it's not all that great. So I think we need to go to the Slumbering Sanctuary, if I remember correctly. Someone told me that. Phaser, the Heavy Crossbow. Heavy Crossbow is always a fun one. Um, I think we'd rather take this, though. Okay. So now we got this dude. As you can see, I've maxed out this dude. Obviously, 3,000 took a good while, but I managed to get that one done. Uh, we kind of need to trade out our burr for something as well at some point. We've really not managed to do that yet. Okay, what's this fan do? Repelling a projectile causes you to inflict a crit. Hmm, interesting. Don't want it for now, though. Just good to have it unlocked. Pretty happy with what we've got going on right now. Okay, so let's let's have a little look, see what we can go here. So I don't know what's this way. This way's a wall climb. This way's the stilt village. And is this the slumbering sanctuary? No. That's the fractured shrines. I'm very confused. So where the hell? Okay, let, let me go and have a look. Where the hell do I get the wall climb ability from? Um Aspect, is that what they're called? No. I'm on the wiki at the moment. Um, runes, that's what they're called. Right. Vine rune, customization rune, teleport rune, ram rune. Lets you break through certain flaws. Um, in a room with spikes that is in front of a switch operated door in the ancient sewers. The spider rune. So the spider rune is in the slumbering sanctuary. But how do I get to it? I need to enter it from the Black Bridge, Nest, Graveyard, Prison Depths, or Corrupted Prison. I don't know how to get there. Ram Rune's what I need next. I need to get to the Oss Ossuary. Ossuary? From the Ancient Sewers. I don't know how to get to the Ancient Sewers, I'll be honest. Um... Right, so let's... Oh, God. I thought it was going to kill me then. Right, so let's just go Stilt Village then this time. And see what's at the end of Stilt Village. I'm a little confused. I'll be honest. I'm a little confused. Ooh, another boss cell one door here. Let's open that up. You do Heavy turret. Hmm... I do kind of want to mix it up a little bit, but I don't think Heavy Tour is quite the way to do it. But thanks for the money nonetheless. We've got a great amount of money right now. Okay. So this area is reasonably difficult. I don't know how the whip will fare in this area. Reasonably well, apparently. You can go in here as well and check out some of the loot in here. 
Okay, so we can get... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. We can get a one-shot kill on these dudes. Um, Face Flask. Minus four damage received. Inflicts five damage. Hmm. I wonder what that's used for. Doesn't seem very good in, in a retrospect, but... I suppose with some mutations, it might be pretty good. Like the one that makes you deal more damage after taking damage, I suppose. I don't know if that's the, the specific use case that you'd want to use that for. I'm not really sure. I love these little crab things. Right. Let's get some of that going on. God damn, this is so much damage. Oh god. That was very close. Gotta just get the range right is all. Gotta be a bit careful about how far away we are from things when we're using this. It can hit multiple enemies in one go though, which is nice to know. Nice. Put that down there. Yeah, it's nice to try out some new weaponry here and there. This one is just a little bit weak. We should maybe try and use that a little more. Okay, that guy just got fallen off straight away. Bit of money. We've not seen the key door yet. Mainly what we're looking for here. It's kind of funny that I don't actually know if this uh, whip is a red weapon or not. It might not be, but I've got it colorless at the minute, so it's just red for me. Okay, so we haven't seen the key door yet likely to be this next one along. See one on the map here. Okay, no, this is just another an another loot one. Cursed treasure chest found. Ooh, let's do it. Let's do it. It's very risky, but let's try it out. And we got the um you have outraged the gods. Okay, so we got another one of these which is very useful. The second and third hits are critical, so... This is risky, because this thing is... Strong, but very slow. I know that we might die here, but... Oh my god. Okay, that was close. Um, wait. Oh, I think I, I think I'm cured. I just got hit and was like, oh no, I'm dead. But I, I, I didn't take any damage, so I think I'm cured. This thing... I don't know how to feel about this. This thing's beefy as shit, but holy hell, it's slow. But look at that. That's some damage right there. That is some damage. Okay, that that was close. I must have uh, killed more enemies than I noticed with my... Um... Yeah, I think this thing might be too slow for me, you know. It's it's really, really strong. But god damn. Is it slow. Five thousand damage in a single hit. Whoa, what's up here? I've not seen up here before. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I tried. Okay. Let's keep going. Fuck me. This is way too slow. I feel like I'm definitely going to die if I keep using this thing. Let's get in here real quick. Right, pop that off. Boom, get me out of here. Okay, so this is a door to... I can't remember what area that is. That's the that's the hell area that I don't like. The darkest place, if I remember correctly. These dudes are really, really tanky and quite strong. Okay, so... Right... 
It's just the clock tower, though. Hmm. I'm a little confused, I'll be honest. I'm a little confused. I don't know where to go. I don't know how to get anywhere. If anyone can give me a heads up as to where I'm going and how to get there to find these different runes, please do let me know. Because at the minute, I am blissfully unaware. Slightly halting our progress. Um, let's just get all of these, shall we? Not that I'm going to use some of these, but still. Crow's foot could be good, though. One moment, I need to sneeze. Oh, God, it's coming. It's really good. Oh, my God, this is horrible. It's, like, on the verge. Okay, now we got some bows to get. The last hit damages all enemies around you and pushes them back. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Holy shit. And spiked boots and fix a crit if, the, if a kick interrupts an attack. They're both really good, but I'm not going for little booties right now, I don't think. Right. Let's try upgrading this thing and then see how it goes. Poisons the enemy. Victims slow down all neighbor enemies when they die. Okay, let's try that out. Good, good. Up to full flask. Nearly full health. Into the clock tower we go. So there's like a slam attack I can do here and stuff. It's just like, there's a lot of like different areas where we got these like wall climb abilities and stuff that I just don't know where or how to get the runes to use them. And I feel like the fact that I'm on boss cell 1 without those abilities is kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't think anyone should be getting to boss cell 1 without having those abilities. Nice. That's a 50% one. That was nice. Okay, I think we're going to try and switch up what we're using this floor. Definitely weaponry-wise. I realize I just upgraded this, but we have so much money that it doesn't really matter. Also, being able to slow down all these enemies is really nice because we're doing extra damage to them via uh, Frostbite. Okay. Head through here. Look at them all good. I've gotten a bit better at this floor as well, I think. I wouldn't say good, but definitely a bit better. We're just going to end up heading up this way. I, I wouldn't say that I'm better at navigating, navigating it, though. I never really know when I'm coming across a dead end, I'll be honest. This is just a shop. Um... Let's grab that. I realize I just upgraded that, but I'm kind of more interested in this. And then let's refresh. Refresh again. Nah, we'll leave it. I think Balance Blade is just a little more uh, a little more enjoyable because it's a lot faster. It might be less DPS overall. But as you can see, it's just a little more usable for me. Especially once we get it critting. Once we get it critting, then then it goes hard. We might end up swapping it out again. We'll see. Eh, that's not quite good enough. We're rarely under 50% health, if we can help it. Oh, hello. Um... Ooh. Let's give this a go. I realize that this isn't going to crit right now, but we can build towards this thing critting. Okay, this little... Oh, God. Ah, this is so difficult. Oh, my Lord. Calm down. This little little star above his head is, like, wrecking me. That little green star thing. Okay. I just like the uh, the freezing aura thing going on here. Nice. Beautiful. Got another shop here as well. Yeah, 
right, we're not going to get anything good out of that, I don't think. Right, so it seems we've gone the wrong way here, unfortunately. We'll go to the right this way. Health is a little bit low, but not terrible. Okay, we've got another area over here. Okay, this guy gave us a scroll. I didn't even realize that. We'll go with the 32% health. Yeah, I really think we can... We got enough money to, like, feed into the modifiers here and try and get, like, poison... Uh, th this this uh, thing poisons on touch. God damn, we've got so many different routes to go here. I'm just this, this area is just so confusing. I wish it was a little more clear where you were meant to be going. Just a little. It doesn't even have to be a lot. But at the minute, I'm just so lost. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. But I'm kind of at the point where I just kind of want to skip everything so I can get to what I want to find. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're allowed in the shop? Excuse me. No, thank you. Should not be allowed in the shop. Okay, back down again. Very, very lost. Oh my lord, I'm taking a lot of damage right now. Eat that up. It's kind of at the point now where we kind of need to keep skipping enemies and just breeze on by everything that we can. So we've found, we've now found the actual exit, but we do not have the key to exit. Good. Oh, I just slammed right down to some spikes. God damn it. I need to heal up again. Okay, so this has to be where the key is. Let's speed through. Oh, another scroll, nice. Maybe I shouldn't be healing as early, considering I have that disengagement thing going on. Maybe that'll uh, be a better time to heal when that activates. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I was like, I just have to go, I have to go around. I'm sorry, guys, but I've got to ignore you for now. I'm on a speed run to find this key. Ah, you bastard! I just missed that jump. I'm not great at traversing here. Okay, I think this is the right way, because I remember you normally get the cells here. If this isn't the right way, I'm going to be so confused. <laughs> there it is. Good, good. Right. We hop down here. And we can go... Where was it again? Where was the actual exit? I can't remember. Oh, it was here. Okay. We go back up here. We didn't kill any of the enemies here, so there's still going to be enemies around. An invisible dude there as well. I see you. Oh my lord. Just take all the damage in the world, why don't I? There we go. Okay. We are through. Clock tower, here we are. I like the way it's 22 minutes on the clock, but we're at 43 minutes recording. The timer is just not accurate at all. Let's get some burrs going. Ooh, I remember this burr being really good. Unlimited ammo, last shot is a critical. Inflicts criticals at long range. Marks the enemy. Okay, let's uh, let's take the mark, shall, shall we? And we'll... Uh, okay, so now we need to do a lot of reforging here, so... Let's re upgrade and reforge. Upgrade and reforge. So, right. 30% damage to slow down targets. No, that's not great. Okay. 8% um, uh, damage to poison targets is really good here. We need to go... Damn. That did not work out how I wanted it to at all. None of those gave us uh, poison modifiers. So having this weapon is kind of a bit of a bummer right now. Because <laughs> we have no way to inflict poison. I was really hoping we'd have enough money there, but I maybe overestimated the amount of money that we had. Right, so this shouldn't be too bad.
Oh god, yeah, this is actually pretty easy. I don't know how to dodge this. The slammer does a ton of damage. Let's finish this. Oh, you bastard. I fucking place all my traps down and he teleports away from them every time. Oh god, I might die here, I've got to be careful. I've got disengagement, so I should be fine. This won't end well. A later, goober. Hey, nice. Ooh, okay. I actually think the slicer might be the way to go here. Just because we can actually, like, set up bleed on enemies now. Kind of annoying that we don't have anything poison-based, but still. We'll, uh, we'll upgrade it to S quality if we can afford it and try going with that. Derelict Distillery. Okay, so let's try upgrading this. We'll reforge. God damn it. Not getting what we want at all. But this does mean that we now have a way for our, uh, our, our weapon to crit, which is good. Nice. I think next boss cell, the healing's really going to dry up, so we've got to be kind of prepared for that. So this is the area we need three, um, three doors. Got a shop here. Ooh, I love the katana. I, the katana is one that I got a few times while uh, while farming, and it's so good. Oh god, yeah, that's that's impressive. That's so good. Oh god, get out of the way, that guy. My god, that enemy sucks. Or I suck at it, should I say? Right. We got one of these guys. There you go. That's what we need to do. Right, so let's wait for our abilities to come up and we'll get this dude. Bite her, you bitch. Uh, where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Yeah, once we get our crits going, it's actually kind of pretty easy to kill things, to be honest. When we don't have our crits, it's a lot harder. Kind of makes me want to swap weapon again, because I, I, I don't think this is going to be good enough for the king. Or the hand, whatever it's called. Disengagement. Thank you for saving me. Okay, that's actually going to be, like, a genuinely very good tactic. Just remember, we only get that once every two minutes, though. We don't get that all the time. Okay, just, just disengage from that guy completely. Oh my lord, this area is brutal. Dude, these windmill dudes are just savages. Oh, god damn it. I went into the wrong area, for fuck's sake. Dude, that's just horrible. You can't be doing that to me. That's just evil. Okay, this is, this is just a law room. I don't care. Green door, good. Oh, this, this is just the boss. Nice. That was nice and easy. 
Dude, the, these enemies need to heck off. That's so strong. Oh my lord. I cannot handle. If people can let me know how to properly deal with those guys, I would be thankful. I'm guessing it's just by stun locking them, but with this setup, I can't really do that very effectively. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Actually, it could... No, I was going to say, it could be up there. It's not going to be. She should keep going down this way. It's leading us down. Let's go down. Yeah, I see you, buddy. I don't care. I just... I can't afford to fight anything right now. It's kind of bad, but... It means less money, which is kind of a problem. But at the same time, these enemies are so difficult and my weapon is not prepared. It's worth looking in these law rooms, because there is stuff you can unlock via them, but at the same time, I don't want to spend all my time looking at law rooms. Are you... You've got to go, dude. Oh, my lord. What the hell? He barely took any damage. The fuck do you do against those? That's crazy how strong they are. Because I must... Be... Oh, it must be up here above the, above the green door. God damn, they are insane how strong they are. No, 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 no. You fucker. Red dog, good. All my health is just permanently gone because of those fools. Nice. Oh, fuck. I was walking to a dead end with a guy above me. Yeah, I'm guessing just best to just completely avoid those dudes whenever possible. Oh, God. There's an elite here. I kind of need to kill him, though. He's managed to get himself in a terrible spot, though. Have we a scapage yet? Shock. Hello. Where the hell is the exit? <laughs> I am confusion. Um, oh, I think it's... Wait. Okay, I think it is up this way. I've just never found a teleporter over here. Right, don't get hit by anything because it'll hurt. Especially not that guy. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Got diggity away. Can I actually get up here? Yeah, I can. No. Wait, what? Can I? Hmm. Okay, I can. I'm just stupid. Pass me the exit, right? Nope, it's just a, a law room. Come on. Where is the exit? Here it is. Okay. My goodness. Better be some healing through here, or else I am going to die. I need a full I need a full heal, basically. I ha like I require one. It needs to fully refill my flask, otherwise I am definitely dead. Probably just at least recycle that bad boy. I am so dead. Shit. <laughs> I really was hoping we'd have the chance to uh, fully refill there. We're so dead here. Okay. Okay. Let's give this a go. We are definitely going to die, but let's give this a go. Hello, sir. Right. 
Basically, if this guy hits me even once, I think I'm dead. And considering I don't remember any of this guy's attacks, as you can clearly tell, I would say it's relatively likely he's going to hit me a lot. With literally not a single heal as well. Yeah, I think, I think we're completely and utterly burned here. Although disengagement helped me a lot there. We are a what? It landed on the little ice thing. Oh my god. Okay, anyways. Anyways. That was it. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of messed with my build a lot there and ended up not really getting anything that worked very well. Uh, but that's a lesson learned, and boss L2, boss L1 boss, don't fuck around. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless. Kind of an interesting run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.